Hello and welcome back into Nate's Breaks and Unboxings. Like I told you for Christmas, we were going to get into a couple hobby boxes of two of my favorite products of the year. So tonight, Christmas Eve, we are going to be getting into a hobby box of 2020 Chronicles. Eight cards per pack, six packs per box. We're going to see what kind of good stuff we can get in here. Like I said, it's Christmas Eve, so Merry Christmas. Hope you're all doing well. Got a little ambiance set up for our break tonight. See, um, have a little fun with a little festive decor on this video. So, yeah, like I said, tonight we're going to get into one of the first of two hobby boxes over the next today and tomorrow of two of my favorite products of the year. This Tonight it's going to be 2020 Panini Chronicles. Tomorrow... You'll just have to wait and see. Um, so yeah, like I said, eight cards per pack, six packs per box, three autographs, and one memorabilia card per box on average. So we're looking for some good stuff in here. I really like the retail version of this product. I've opened a few blasters, really, really like it. Um, so decided around Black Friday to splurge and bought a hobby box. So let's just go ahead and get into this. I'm going to open it a little bit more carefully than I typically do. Well, maybe not. These scissors need to be sharpened, apparently. Um, covering up my Cubs logo on my hat. So yeah, I'm really excited to get into this. I have not opened any hobby of this product. The only panini product I've opened hobby of was Diamond Kings. Another one of my favorites of the year, but Chronicles really kind of took the one, one of the top two spots. Diamond Kings is certainly up there, though. So yeah, we're going to see what we can get. But only open this if you're older than nine. <laughs> Here's all that back of the box stuff. So yeah, here we go. Our, there's our packs. They kind of moved around a little bit, it looks like. So we're just going to go ahead and make sure we got all six. We did. I'm seeing some fat here. And definitely there. So we're going to rearrange some things. We'll kind of... Yeah, I don't know. We'll set this aside. It's a really cool box, but I don't want it to catch fire in the fireplace. So in a, in a blaster box, you're going to get four packs of six cards. The blaster box says four, the, the packs only have five cards, but they tend all have six. But yeah, we're looking at six packs of eight cards here. So I'm really hoping we get something good in this box because, yeah, you're getting more cards if you bought retail alone. But the odds of hitting something good are better with the hobby. So I see a Juan Soto on the back and we're shedding already. We got some thickies in here. We are starting with Bobby Bradley National Treasures. Nice. Juan Soto. This must be a Juan Soto. I think we got a hit in here already. Then we've got a Yoshitomo Tsutsugo. And we're gonna move things around. Ronald Acuna, Acuna Jr. Leaf certi or certified, not Leaf. Really like that design. Shogo Akiyama. Jonathan Daza Mosaic. Juan Soto Titan. And again, off centered Panini. Your Titan needs work. Like I said, we got the Sutsugo. Now let's see what this first hit is going to be. If it's going to be just a relic or if it's going to be an auto or maybe both. It is a Glaber Torres Spectra jersey. That's a, some nice pinstripes there. It is not numbered, but still a very nice card. That is our relic card. Let's get a little sleeve out here and get this bad boy in a sleeved up. Our friends over at 401 Breaks are big Yankees fans. So they may really like this one. And well, 
if I can get it in the sleeve. That's the thing with some of these thickies. It's hard to get them sleeved up. Saw this trick on a channel way back in the day. Seemed to work for them. And it's worked for me a few times too. So, Actually, you know what? I just might need a thicker penny sleeve. Yep, I just need a thicker sleeve. I'll have to dig up my thick sleeves. I've got a pack of those. So, yeah, we'll just keep rolling. I will have to get a thicker penny sleeve. Well, let's just go ahead and set this up as one of our hits. I'll just be careful. Very nice. Glaber Toys like those pinstripes. Good stuff. Good start. Let's pack number two. Got a Vlad on the back. Javi Baez, that's a nice hit for my PC. Starling Marte, National Treasures. We got Amuki Betts, Chronicles Base, but it's a purple parallel. Oh, we got a something else. I think we got an autograph too. 15 of 25. Um, I'm going to move some stuff. Because, like I said, I think that. Whoa, okay, we've got some nice, this is a nice pack. So we've got Danny Mendick, Green Spectra. I think that's a Spectra. Status, excuse me, a green parallel status. Jordan Mosaic. This I'm going to sleeve. We've got a Vlad Jr. Phoenix. I believe that's what these are called. These are nice. Not a numbered card. The Mookie at 15 of 25. That's sharp. We've got an Adrian Morihone autograph, numbered 54 of 99, and a Shun Yamaguchi certified. That's an on-card autograph of Adrian Morihone. So let me sleeve up a couple of these, because holy mackerel, that was a pack. That was a loaded, loaded pack. Mr. Moy Hone from San Diego. Sorry, bear with me, folks. I didn't have, I didn't think I was going to need as much as I am needing at the moment. I'm trying to, centering on that's pretty good. See the number. 15 and 25. That's a sweet card. I'm going to set that there. And our Jordan Mosaic. That's might be a good grader. So, yeah, Merry Christmas. Very nice. We'll set those there. So, that was a good couple first packs. I will take it. Next pack, another numbered card. It's a Vladdy on the back. Rookies and Stars, Tony Gonsolin starting us off. Luis Castillo, score. Jacob de Grom Base Chronicles. We got another hit. This is a um, Chance Adams auto. So not necessarily the most amazing. Maybe that last one's going to be a beast because they do kind of um, balance. I've Well, with Diamond Kings, they did any. Anyhow, you got one kind of basic kind of autograph or whatever and then you got a monster sometimes um brian anderson aaron judge nelson cruz mosaic prism nice and the vlad jr phoenix numbered 193 of 299. Very nice. Sleeve this bad boy up. 
so far I am relatively happy with this. Would love to get a monster auto. That would be fantastic because we've already got two of our three autos and we've got our relic. So unless they're going to get, you know, it says on average, so maybe we'll get something a little bit above average, but I'm not going to hold my breath, but that would be pretty stellar. Brendan McKay, Magnitude. Very cool. Alex Bregman Limited. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Nice PC hit. Base. And, well, there's our other auto. I did not expect to get that already. So, hold please. Brian Abreu is that auto. Not... Super duper crazy. Let's just keep the rest of them there. On card. Houston, Brian Abreu. Let's get a little thicker of a sleeve. Get you packed up. These are nice. He is a rookie, so we will take it and hope for the best for his career. Not the cool, uh, kind of an interesting autograph. So let's see what the rest of our pack has in the store for us. If we've got any more fun stuff. Jordan Yamamoto. Hey, look at that green Javi Baez. That's a nice PC hit. Bryce Harper Obsidian. That's cool. And Boho Bichette. Is that a contender's optic? Nice card number one. Can't tell if that cut is off. I don't think so. Still, nice card. Very nice card. We still got two packs to go. This is pretty awesome. Pretty stinking awesome. That there. All right, the bow show. Running out of room. I'm gonna move a couple things because my stacks are getting a little wobbly. Because of some of those chrome cards like the Titan and the um, Mosaic. Or, um, yeah, Mosaic, right? Make it a little, they kind of have a bend to them, so it's hard to sack. Okay, let's keep rolling. I am dragging my feet and dawdling. Let's see what this one, we got a big old thick card in here. Maybe one of those Spectras. Sean Murphy. Aaron Judge. Nice Mike Trout. Score. We've got an Alex Gordon Spectra. Interesting, all right. Nico Horner, nice for the PC. From Status. I'm gonna have to go through these when I'm all done. We've got a Austin Riley Certified Green. Ozzy Albies Mosaic Prism Refractor. Ooh, that last card. Crusade Mike Trout. Not numbered. It's the Albies. These, neither one of these are numbered, but they are going to get sleeped up when all is said and done. Last pack. I think we've got all of our hits. Nothing amazing, super duper crazy. Awesome, but you know what? Can't complain. It's been a fun, fun holiday rip. Justin Verlander, Legacy. Um, let's flip these around. Aristides Aquino, Classics. Alex Bregman, Chronicles. Trey Turner, Spectre. Look how, this is a base card, and look how thick that sucker is. Crazy. Luis Robert, there we go. Status, Robbie Cano, Yoshitomo Tsutsugo Obsidian, and 
and a Clayton Kershaw Contenders Optic. And that's a prism, yes. Well, that was a pretty nice box. Not, didn't get the hits that I was hoping, but got some really nice numbered cards. Got three autos and a relic like they promised. So can't complain about that. Got some really nice rookies, a couple trouts. All in all, I'd say that's a pretty successful opening. So thanks for watching. I hope you're doing well. Um, let me know what your favorite card was. If you liked the video, hit that thumb up. I didn't say this at the beginning of the video. That thumb up lets me know you enjoyed it and also helps out the video um, and the channel. Leave a comment, like I said, what your favorite card was. Um, share with a friend. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. Got lots of options here to see. So, yeah, ho with uh, yeah, hope you're doing well, having a wonderful Christmas Eve, enjoying time with family or loved ones or friends or whoever it may be. Uh, pray that you're being blessed this wonderful day. And as always, we'll just say, be good to each other, be kind to each other, care for each other, and love each other. Merry Christmas, and we'll see you next time. Take care.